Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Sagittarius friends and friends of Sagittarius. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hello, I am Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So I am posting this here end of February. This is your reading moving on into March. All messages are timeless, so please, if you do feel drawn to something, I encourage you to take a look. There is a message in there for you. So Sagittarius, I am changing things a little bit here in the way that I read. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. You'll notice a few differences. If you are new here, welcome you guys. Everything's going to look the same to you. So um, meditation is where I want to start. Sagittarius messages for you, what came through. This was a bit interesting this time because it was more verbal than it was um, uh, the images as much. But the message that was coming through was that it's okay to look stupid while you are learning something like the process of learning is imperfect and there was never it was never meant to be I mean perfection doesn't exist but um, you were never meant to look flawless <laughs> while you're learning to do something okay uh, just seems to be very important as far as a message coming through here so we'll examine that a bit more let's go ahead and get into the tarot here this is the Lightseer's tarot Sagittarius. So spirit, what do we have here for Sagittarius? Um, Oracle cards I am pulling here at the end, by the way, just so that that is what's different. That's all that's different here. <clears throat> what do we have for Sagittarius, please, spirit? And you guys, thank you so much for your um, love, appreciation, support, as always. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me and the growth of this channel. And I truly appreciate it, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Uh, there was the Knight of Cups here at the split, by the way, as I was doing this. I do feel like uh, love is something... Oh, Ten of Swords is kind of flipped around here, too. <laughs> love is something that um, could be coming in for some of you. I feel like there's a bit of pain, though, that is lingering. Lingering a little bit longer than you want. All right, so we'll, we'll get into that. I do offer personal readings if you guys are interested details for that are in the description of the video you can check out my website there okay so let's move forward oh feel free to stay to the end as well i've got some information on how to win a free reading okay okay sagittarius oh, it wants to be at the bottom all right so queen of wands here you've got um at the bottom so this is your hope to start what you're wanting um, I do feel like you're you're hoping to move back into a place. It does seem like there is some pain here. The Ten of Swords coming through, surrounding a situation of love, or even a process of like, like maybe you've been doing something in excess, and it is causing harm when it was meant to cause help. Um, good example would be like, uh, mm, I like that example, K Spirit, like caffeine. <laughs> A little bit of caffeine actually, you know, can help wake you up in the morning. It numbs out the feeling of being tired. It isn't a true stimulant in that way, but um, it can cause difficulty in mass amounts, right? It can cause an addiction towards it as well. Um, there are also health benefits in smaller amounts with caffeine, but there seems to be this like, Oh, because it helped this one time. And this could be anything, you guys. Food, drugs, sex, porn. Um, if I add more of it, then it will help more. And that's that's kind of the vibe I'm, I'm getting from this here. Could be relationship as well. Codependency in relationships. You are hoping to get back to your autonomy. Just to land that plane. You're hoping to get back to a place of feeling confident in your own skin. Being able to, to do what it is you want and need to do without feeling... This gross attachment, okay, this attachment, this gross attachment to um, to anything, really. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Blue Spirit, what do we have here for Sagittarius? Additional messages. This is the Murder of Crows tarot. And this is a general message, everybody, so please keep that in mind. You are intelligent. You are also powerful and a co-creator here, so please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest for who it is meant for, okay? Feel free to check out your rising moon and Venus signs as well. You are more than your sun sign and I dare you to look, okay? 
Who doesn't want a little bit more direction in these crazy, crazy, crazy times, you guys? <laughs> All right, so uh, Page of Swords here comes in as your anxiety, your fear, aversion. I feel like I do kind of get a, it's interesting, kind of a paranoid feeling or a feeling of paranoia. So the page of uh, page of swords, in essence, is is being you're being asked to become curious about something. They're the student of the deck, awesome at learning. They're great, <laughs> best you've ever seen. So much so that they can also become a bit of a spy. So um, I, I feel like that's a weird one. Maybe you are keeping an eye on somebody. Um, could be love from the past, having that Knight of Cups come through here. Whatever the case is, it's like, like that paranoia, and this isn't for everybody, but that paranoia that's coming through is like, maybe you're doing something and you're assuming or thinking that other people are doing this too, because you're doing that. Mm. Or there could just be, for some of you, I do feel like there's some trauma surrounding um, that kind of control. And so there's this lingering fear of that that happening in your life, lasting in your life. Mm. Or even in connection to the meditation there, learning, learning something new. You may be feeling like people are, I've got all eyes on you, okay? <clears throat> and this is causing you anxiety and stress. Like I feel like a new job, maybe you started a new position or you are... I don't know, maybe you started reading a, a book where um, you're learning components about yourself that you haven't seen before, and you're starting to feel sensitive about it, insecure, like, now that you're aware of something, like, was everybody else aware of this this whole time kind of thing? Let's keep going. Let's get into this. Okay. Nine of damn pentacles. <laughs> this card. <laughs> Love it. Love this card. But I, I swear to God, it's come through um, the first position, same deck here for at least half of the signs that I've recorded for so far, <laughs> which that's great. Um, I very much feel like there is um, peace, you know, peace, calm, contentedness, contentment <laughs> that is being highlighted this week for some reason. Like, I'll take it. I'm not going to I'm not going to throw that out. But we're looking at your personal, like your personal bounty. I do feel like some of you could benefit from getting out into nature a bit, interacting with nature a little bit more. But we're looking at your, yeah, like your autonomy. Having the Queen of Wands come through there too, I very much feel like this is your power personally, inside, energetically, and your power the way that that interacts with the energies outside as well okay three of swords well yes <laughs> well shoot a bug <laughs> oh i don't mean to laugh sagittarius at all because it's not funny um i just laugh at the connectedness of spirit's message there so three of swords is yeah this is the loss and heartbreak you guys i do feel like we're talking about for a lot of you um something love wise it could be a current situation you're in a, a relationship currently that you're struggling with more so i feel like it's it's a shadow it's something from the past it's one of these swords or all three of them still that are in your heart that haven't been removed and it's preventing you from moving forward in a healthy way in a beneficial way 1001 on the timer it's affecting your uh, your peace your peace of mind Seven of Wands. Yes, my goodness. So I do feel it. what it seems to me, <laughs> since this is my channel and you're here, <laughs> what's coming through for me? Um, so we did have Chiron square off with the North Node on the 19th. And Chiron is, if you're not aware of your Chiron, I would highly recommend you Google it. It is a smaller component of the chart, but it is also, I feel like, very important. It is your wound here, the wound you're working at healing. Um, I feel like with that happening, well, all of these wounds for us have come up, things have become, uh, very sensitive to what is painful, what needs to be healed still. So love, 
there's something about a relationship could have been an abusive situation. Uh, maybe, maybe you're finding that you, you even contributed to some abusive behaviors uh, because we do that, you guys, like even wanting to be the best person ever, uh, we are all capable of everything <laughs> and given the right circumstances, it happens. So maybe you're finding that you played a part in a situation that you didn't necessarily want to play. And that is affecting, it's coming up right now in such a severe way that it's affecting your ability to feel calm and peace. The seven of wands is feeling like attacked from all angles. Kind of back to that paranoia. I don't feel like anything's really shifted um, outside. It is more this magnification that you are, are you aware of this again, not just with your inner sight, but energetically you are feeling this pain that needs to be approached. Ooh, all right, Sagittarius. <laughs> good news. Good news, everyone. God, actually, no, I love this. So in your good stuff here, to start, you have the world. So good news, Sagittarius. This cycle has every ability to come to a close. 12-12 there on the timer. And this is a time where you can close this, okay? Where you can fully step through that portal <laughs> that aura portal. <laughs> it's an Ouroboros and it just reminds me of a portal. This aura portal you're going to step through, okay? Instead of continuing to chase um, the same repetitive behavior, you are finally letting it be what it needs to be in order for it to heal. Good. <laughs> this feels tricky, you guys. I'll be honest with you. It's not a not like a... It doesn't feel super uh, warm and fuzzy that connecting into that. I feel like you are moving, you have the ability here to move into a place where that is not affecting your life so severely. Um, and I do feel inclined to say just because these cards are pulled does not mean it is magic. There is work that needs to be done. This is highlighting where you can put effort in to get the best return, which tools are going to be best to pull out of your tool belt or to go by in order to deal with this okay uh ten of wands comes in with the world as well so yes we're very much talking about letting go of something very heavy this is something that's heavy on your heart i don't know anybody who has like who doesn't have a relationship i guess in their life what comes through is um uh, is titanic the movie titanic at the um at the end when she's like older rose she's talking about how like a woman's heart is like an ocean and just this concept of you know like the, the whole love story she was holding on to that love story but still living a whole other life um that is the energy that i'm getting from this not as much in like a lovely way and i don't know if that is lovely or, or healthy i don't know uh like we sh it's good to remember moments that were good but um if you're pining after any sort of memory or action and you want that to be in your present that's from your past i don't feel like that's really leading from a very healthy place so my point is i think we all have a relationship that we can go yeah well shit <laughs> yeah that's you know there's my three of swords that is still affecting me i don't like the way i behaved there i don't like the way they they behaved there you know maybe they weren't super nice to you but you still have love for them and this is confusing to you you see what i'm saying like love is weird <laughs> love is patient love is kind love is weird can we get some more information here on the good stuff Ooh. My laundry timer. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles comes in. So this isn't, and Three of Wands was at the bottom before I started shuffling as well. Um, I feel like this is a major opportunity to close something that you've been wanting to close. All right. This has to be something that you want to close, though. Like if you are addicted to the emotion of that, that needs to be addressed as well. That's a part of what needs to be released here with the Ten of Wands. So eight of pentacles, um, I feel like this is an opportunity for you to start feeling like this is robbing you of your passion. This is robbing you of your desire, your zest to approach things with childlike wonder in your life. 
whether that be another relationship or any activity, your work, just your day to day, you know, let's keep moving forward here. So what's in the dark? You have high priestess. <clears throat> she is in the dark <laughs> constantly. Um, I feel like you guys, especially with Chiron coming up, whatever's coming up that is feeling painful is there is a reason for this. It is asking to be seen so that it can be balanced out, so that it can be ironed out. I'm seeing like an iron with wrinkles. Um, you may not know. What I'm feeling is like the, um, the emotion attached to the situation may be so overwhelming. It may be so jarring if it's bringing you back to a place where you're like, oh, hell no, I don't want to go there. Hell no. <laughs> um, you may be getting caught up in that emotion and not seeing what the purpose of it is. So with the high priestess here, I do feel like what you don't see coming is actually like a secret, something hidden. And I feel like mm, this could be something that you are hiding from yourself, from others. It could be um, something that somebody has been hiding from you. But it feels very much like hidden information coming to light, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. King of Cups comes in here with the High Priestess. I do also feel like this is kind of blocked energy. So the King of Cups is the master of their emotions. The, deno the notion of devotion to master the motion of your emotion ocean, as I like to say. So in combination with the high priestess being in what's hidden there, yes, there are emotions that are coming up. Like there is a message in these emotions. And I, again, I feel like this could be from you, you to you, you to someone else, someone else to you. There just seems to be this like, this energy attached to Sagittarius right now. Could be a cross watcher watching here as well. Things can be flopped, you guys. Um, like a deep, dark secret, the way that you actually feel. How do you actually feel, Sagittarius? Can I get some more information here on what's hidden, what's in the dark? Nine of Cups. Um, and then there's Ten of Wands here at the bottom here. So this is what, yes, this is what's weighing on your heart here that needs to be released. Something that you have not spoken. Something that makes you feel hella good. Nine of Cups here. This is your personal satisfaction. This is um, wish granted by the universe. Whatever these emotions are, could be towards somebody. Maybe there's a love child involved. <laughs> um, could be towards somebody. It could be like an aspiration, something that you really want to be in this life. There's something about this, though, that just has not been spoken. Like it's still in the dark. The, the universe can't grant this wish because it's not been wished Sagittarius okay let's keep going <laughs> you gotta say you gotta say what you mean okay I mean what you say <laughs> your challenge surprise 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 <laughs> ten of wands so you've had three ten of wands come through here so far ten of wands being in your good stuff it was winked at here in the dark and now your challenge so the difficulty here for you guys yeah, is definitely releasing something. And for a lot of you, I feel like it is this restriction, like it's this boundary of really, really feeling something, being honest with yourself about that, having that secret come through. I feel like this paranoia attached to the page of swords here, that kind of paranoia energy, it's, it's a fear surrounding like what would... What would people do if they actually knew what what I want or who I am, you know? And this isn't something bad, you know? I don't even like to say good or bad. So as an example, I guess, I mean, keep it, keep it light. Like maybe you really love to sing and nobody has ever known that about you because you've been too scared or shy to... To share it, whether you are good or bad at singing, there is something about hiding that passion, that emotion. That experience has a deep connection 
to your experience here for a reason. And although we don't need to share everything um, about ourselves, there's also not really like an explicit reason to hide it either. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like what needs to be released and the challenge here is, is that restriction that you're placing on yourself, this self boundary of like, well, I got to keep my energy just to here, or, you know, I can't step out of line there, whatever work relationships, home. There just, there feels like there's a restrictive bubble, bubble boy or girl <laughs> or non-binary human. Um, damn. <laughs> you guys and then king of swords comes in here for the challenge as well yeah speaking some truth okay a conversation and having the king of swords come out here too especially with the king king of cups and high priestess and what's in the dark what's blocked the energy that you need here is to speak your truth you guys hell's bales um I don't feel like this is something for all of you that a conversation needs to like literally take place between somebody, but also kind of like I let's say in this plane, in this dimension. Sure. You can have conversations with others, higher selves, right? Let's say you don't have access to somebody physically. Maybe you're on a uh, no, no contact order. <laughs> Let's say you have a restraining order. I'm just kidding. Um, let's say that you guys aren't speaking for whatever reason. And there's something with this heartbreak, that three of swords, this is affecting you to the point where you cannot feel peace. <laughs> it's time to have some sort of conversation. If you feel that this conversation needs to take place with somebody literally, see about making that happen. If it's not, um, there are even some wonderful meditations on here that help guide you or teach you how to speak to the higher self of another individual through meditation. Super useful because the higher self is not as tainted by this third dimension, okay? Like the person, the self that you've developed in this realm is not who your higher self is. Your higher self can, you know, be... <laughs> tired of you sometimes do <laughs> my point is you can go talk directly to an individual's energy without um without it being like a consensual issue or without having to cause further damage potentially for yourself maybe you don't feel safe or they don't feel safe you see what i'm saying a conversation though some sort of truth needs to be spoken here god you guys <laughs> <gasps> four of swords here at the bottom <laughs> healing of the heart and three of swords comes in to uh, clarify your challenge the challenge has been to take these swords out this whole time guys <laughs> jeez oh i know that if this were easy like it would have been done by now, right? You would have done it already. Um, there is something that's preventing you from expressing something. Uh... So three main pieces of advice here for Sagittarius, please, spirit. I feel like like either there's some love that needs to be expressed. There's um, like, this is how you hurt me. I, there's many. I feel like there's many different truths that need to be spoken here. Moving on, endings that bring healthy beginnings. So um, having the Three of Swords here come through, the Ten of Wands three different times, yeah, and completion. Moving on has been something that is a big message here. Like I said, it's not always easy to just move on. Um, there is some sort of truth here that needs to be acknowledged in order for you to move through. Is it that you still have feelings for somebody even though you know it's not healthy? Right. There's just an example um, that is OK to admit that to yourself so that you can move on. Sometimes we don't know why the heart is doing what it's doing, but the heart doesn't have to run the entire show. It shouldn't just like the head should not run the entire show. We're we're using both. OK. And some extra help from outside. <laughs> Pay attention. Look out for signs from the divine. Acknowledge red flags. I would say. um, 
yeah, what's happening when these thoughts are coming up? What's triggering them? What's happening as a result of having these thoughts too in your life? How does your emotion, emotional state get affected? How does the emotional state of those closest to you get affected? Ask your angels, seek the divine, your angels want to support you. So yes, asking for some work or some help outside, right? Ask your angels for some help. Ask your spirit team for some support right now and finding the strength to do whatever it is that you need to do in this situation um, to help move yourself through it, to truly express what it is that you are feeling. Like you don't need to lie to yourself. Nobody's judging you. And, and that's something that maybe you don't need to express that to somebody specifically, but to yourself. Why are you running away from that truth? What does it mean if it is true, right? Whatever this, whatever this is. Try to examine that, okay? Getting curious about that. And that's that's the Page of Swords here too. Having this be your fear aversion. I feel like there's a, a tentativeness towards becoming curious about what's going on inside. Why am I thinking this way? Stepping away from like, I'm a, you know... <laughs> I'm a terrible person or I'm an asshole for thinking this or like what in the hell is wrong with me, you know, for doing stop that kind of dialogue because it is not helpful. It's abusive. Getting curious about why, why am I thinking this? Why is this still coming up? Why is this emotion coming up? Okay, so let's get into your animal oracle here. Spirit animal oracle. This is the wild unknown animal spirit deck. What do we have for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? Additional messages here. The Panther. Yes. Oh, you guys. So, um, I do actually feel like I want to read this from the book here. This is a fire energy um, supporting your sign for sure. Bringing some of that passion back into your experience, like I said, um, seems to be very very important. Like whatever this almost said entity, whatever this energy trap is, maybe it's becoming an entity. The thoughts, the emotions that you're trying to deny, that is robbing you of your passion right now. Um, so let's not do that. <laughs> let's move away from that. Panther, annihilation of the unnecessary and purging. Well, well, well. The panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. <laughs> I was just saying this. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us toward more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences, and they've made us better people. <laughs> Some of us, when we decide to allow it to, right? Trust that the panther's journey allows always leads to a brighter place when in balance brave and productive out of balance self-destructive to bring into balance get rid of the unnecessary so moving on the ten of wands again getting rid of something that is unnecessary right now i feel like to start like i said you guys it is this idea of like the boundary that you are placing on you even becoming curious about why that's there it's difficult to just throw something out like maybe you have so much faith that you're able to just well <laughs> i know it needs to go so we're just gonna get rid of it i don't know anybody like that though so to start here i feel like it's really important to um become curious about why like the panther is pouncing in here why is that energy coming to a boiling point and what is it saying to you you know you need to move through something what are you restricting about yourself to like see or feel or experience about this the castle is what comes through. So this is um, the archetypes, Wild Unknown Archetypes, also done by Kim Kranz here, who did the uh, animal oracle that I have. So the castle. The palace, the penthouse, the fortress. It's no wonder fairy tale tales tell of sleeping princesses within castle walls. I feel like this is like a protective, like you've gone... Whatever this is, this thought, this idea, this feeling is fortressed away, put in this fortress. It represents abundant riches, seductive fantasy, ornate wonders, and lavish adornments. Yet the walls are thick, cold, and shadowy. This card points to a tendency, probably a nightmare to heat in the winter, right? <laughs> this card points to a tendency to hold on to possessions, quite possibly a literal home, or position that project 
or, or position that project the image of achievement. Put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable there, guys. While the soul longs to run barefoot in the forest, leaving it all behind, at times we must settle down. Yet the castle lulls us with its spell of materialism, and we fall asleep to our deepest dreams. The castle can be a motivating force, an enchanting goal to travel toward, but it is best not to linger within its walls of decadent deception for too long. So I feel like this castle is something that uh, maybe you have fallen into a form of materialism to numb or avoid whatever is trying to be spoken or seen here. Um, not to say that, you know, possessions are totally fine. It's that attachment that we have to them that can become a toxic quality, especially if you're like, you know, I feel bad. I'm going to go buy a car today. <laughs> um, those sorts of things, especially that capitalism has, has programmed us to feel, um, do not actually do anything beneficial for us at all. So, um, that's, that's what I'm feeling like the Panthers coming in here with some aggressive attitude. It's got a bombastic side eye. <laughs> um, you're being asked to to take a look at what you have sequestered into the castle here and why. There's a big, big completion point for you guys, okay? I love you so much, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here with me today. So as far as the free reading, if you hop into the description of the video there, you can join my newsletter, become a part of the Phoenix fam there. It is free to subscribe. As long as you stay an active subscriber, I am giving away one free 30-minute reading once a month. Okay, you guys? So I'd love to see you there. Thank you again, like I said, for joining me here. I love you so, so much. Too much sometimes. Please have a beautiful week, and please be kind with yourself in this period. This is not easy, but I know that you can do it. Okay? I love you. Bye.